famous song that features a bridge takes us into the French Provençal town of Avignon. Sur le pont d'Avignon. Thus begins the world-famous French song that is familiar to both young and old alike. It is a song of dance on the Pont saint benezé bridge. However, today, dance is mainly undertaken beneath the famous Rome bridge. On the river island of Ile de Bartelas, there is a variety of popular restaurants and bars. However, this river has not always been a picturesque sight. Several catastrophic floods destroyed this previously 900 meter long medieval building. Over the centuries, the citizens of Avignon neglected their bridge. Thus, only four of 22 stone arches and the small Nicolaus Chapel have been preserved to the present day. The impressive Pope's Palace dominates the centre of the town. Its exterior resembles a military fortress rather than a religious residence. Internal disputes, in addition to power struggles in Rome, transformed Avignon into the new seat of the pontificate. French King Philip the Beautiful knew how to exploit these religious and political demands for his own ends. Owing to his great influence, the early Bishop of Bordeaux, Bertrand de Gaulle, became the successor of Pope Benedict VI who died in 1304. A coat of arms above the main entrance is reminiscent of the papal court that was founded by Clement VI. In 1348, he bought the town of Avignon for 80,000 gold ducats from Johanna I, Queen of Sicily. During his term of office, he added a new, more luxurious building to the old palace that was constructed between 1334 and 1342. The beauty of this place manifests itself in the numerous terraces and towers that were used for defensive purposes during the 14th and 15th centuries. Each July, the historic areas around the Pope's Palace are crowded with people from far and wide who visit the Festival Theatre of Dramatic Art. Avignon Cathedral dates back to the middle of the 12th century. Over the years, the Romanic building that was once the scene of great events 
has been restored several times. In 1333, the crusader Philip VI of France was blessed here by the Pope prior to embarking on his crusade against the Turks. The idyllic park landscape of the Jardin du Rocher follows the cathedral. This highest section of the town originates from Roman times. Believing an ancient legend, the Roman Emperor Augustus wanted to build a temple in honour of the north wind on top of a hill. Above the gently flowing Rhone, a scenic path leads along the massive fortified wall that surrounds the old town. During the course of history, the town was repeatedly laid to siege. Thus, the cathedral's bell tower was also destroyed. The four kilometer long protective wall with its 14 town gates was built between 1356 and 1370. Seven successive French popes transformed Avignon into one of the most glamorous medieval courts in Europe. The town's expansion gradually became increasingly more splendid and the pontificate's dependence on French royalty became more entrenched. Because of this dubious situation, a growing number of cities wanted the Pope to return to his original seat in Rome. As a result of this, a long struggle for power between the various parties began. Finally, the controversy temporarily culminated in dividing the Catholic Church. In the 15th century, Avignon was forced to give up the pontificate. Nevertheless, for many years to come, the town remained under papal administration. Only with the Great Plague of 1721 and following the French Revolution, did the controversy come to an end. By then, the world-famous Bridge of Avignon had already sunk into the depths of the Rhone forever. <laughs>